Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printing here. What follows is a video from my Flask for Beginners course where I talk about how to retrieve JSON data from a request. So if you like this video, I suggest you check out my full course Flask for Beginners. I'll have a link to that in the description below so you can check that out once you watch this preview video. So this is an actual video from the course. And if you like this video, then you'll probably like all the videos in the course. So enjoy. There's one more way to pass request data to your Flask app, and that method is using a JSON object. So to demonstrate this, I'll be using Postman, which is a tool in Chrome that allows you to send HTTP requests to particular URLs. So the first thing I'll do is I'll create a route for handling JSON. So I'll call this process JSON, and it will take post requests only. That part isn't so important, it just depends on your preferences, uh, the method that is. So I'll call this process JSON, and I'll return a JSON object. JSONify result success. Okay, so if I go to Postman, and switch this to a post request and type in the routes, process JSON, and send, I see result success. So that's exactly what I want, but for now it's not taking in any kind of request data. So to do that, I'll go to the body here and I'll switch to raw and I'll make sure JSON application JSON is selected in this drop down here. So it sends the JSON MIME type. So now I can construct a JSON object that I send in the request. So I'll say name, Anthony, and then I'll say location, and this should have double quotes around it, location, United States, and random list, just to demonstrate how arrays work, I'll do one, two, three, and four. And I make sure it's valid, I send it, and I get the same thing back because my app isn't actually processing the data yet. So to get to that point, what I need to do is I need to get the results. So I'll call this data, and it's going to be request.getjson. So this is going to take the incoming JSON object and convert it to Python data structures, kind of like the reverse of JSONify. So it will find objects in the JSON object and convert it to Python dictionaries, and arrays in the JSON object will be converted to lists in Python. So I have a name key, and it's going to be data name because it's in the object. And then location is the same, so data, location. And then random list is going to be data, random list. So these values should be just regular variables. So it should have a name and a location. And this should be a list, which will have values inside of the list. So to confirm that, I'll add some keys to this JSON object that gets returned so I can verify that the data that is coming in is correct. So name, I'll just mirror back everything. Name is going to be name and then location, location. And then instead of mirroring back the list completely, I'll say random key in list and I will take the random list and get the second element at the first index. So now if I go back to Postman and run this, I see location, United States, which is correct. Name, Anthony. Random key in list, two, which is the element at the first index. And then the result is still success. So if I change this to Todd, and location becomes Japan, and the second element in my list becomes random and I send this, I get the updated values. So Japan, Todd, and then random for the random key in the list. So it's pretty simple to use JSON. It's just as straightforward as using the query string, building the URL, 
or using form data. So Flask makes it really easy for us to handle incoming request data because that's really one of the most important things for an app. If you can't take in user input, then you won't be able to do anything interesting with your app.